Flimsy Lens to show you here and welcome to Armored Warfare as we are returning back for me to give more of my thoughts uh, on playing the game thus far. I think I've played probably at least 10 hours if not maybe a little bit more and a lot of it being in PvE mode. Um, so I do apologize for that video last week which blew up like so many people watched it. Uh, so I'm appreciative of that, but I feel super bad that the audio, uh, my vocals was so crap. And the background noise, um, environmental noise and stuff probably sounds really quiet right now because it gets louder during the uh, when you drop. So that's a little weird to me. And even if I click uh, settings here, the, the volume actually gets louder too. So, um, But what are my thoughts on the game so far? Since I'm mainly a World of Warships player, Reason why I didn't want to go to uh, World of Tanks is because it's owned by the same gaming development company, uh, publisher, Wargaming, and I kind of want to distance myself a little bit um, with how things are going with them for now. So I want to try out something like this, Armored Warfare, which particularly my uh, clan commander in World of Warships uh, suggested and downloaded, and I downloaded it, but how am I liking Armored Warfare so far? I am really enjoying it, um, especially doing a lot of the uh, PVE so far has been fun. Uh, there's so many different operations. Um, I haven't seen people get like salty and chat. Um, the game just seems to be what it is. Of course, this could be kind of a honeymoon phase because um, I don't know a lot about the game. I know a lot of you in the comments have said, um, wait, you thought the game was dead? Or and I read another comment that is, I think a Chinese company bought this game out and was gonna let it die or something. So I don't know about that, so that's, maybe I can look into that and I can do a video on that to kind of figure out where things currently stand with the game, because I don't really know, but I've just been playing it and having fun. So um, upon coming into the game, actually gets a tier five premium tank, the T-64AV, uh, which definitely hits hard and is a really, uh, it's, a, it's a good uh, tier five premium tank to play. So definitely have been enjoying playing it. Um, I've been figuring out the commanders, how to get their skills on them, uh, just more things in general. So this video is really just kind of my thoughts uh, so far. I'm not really gonna get into all the details. Just some things that I like. Uh, one of the things I do like is, so we have uh, inventory. So I actually have a bunch of crates and need to open. So there's like some premium time um, or can contain one or more of the following rewards. Um, but I'm like, I was kind of waiting if I got premium time. I wanted to try to utilize that uh, when I know I'm going to have uh, a good amount of time. There's also something I could do to activate, like, yeah, premium goods. Uh, yeah, so seven days of premium time activated upon purchase. So I think this is actually, I have it now. Someone was t discussing with me, oh yeah, the boost. You can activate these when you want to. Uh, you don't have to, you just get it and then you have to like utilize it, but you can just go ahead and uh, activate it uh, when you're ready um, to earn more rewards. So I think that's actually really cool rather than just getting it and then, oh shoot, I'm leaving for several days um, and now I can't um, actually utilize this uh, premium time or boost that I get. So I'm going to play a, a tier three tank. Um, I've been playing, let's see if I go to vehicles. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that tank? <laughs> is it down here? Yeah, M360 uh, can go up this line. Um, so I've just been trying some things out. There was a, actually another tier three tank I was playing. Maybe that was the one I was wanting to play. I've been playing all the dragon, I can, uh, or dragoon, sorry. I can upgrade it, but, uh, oh yeah, it's the leopard I was just playing. That's the actual tank I wanna play right now. Um, so let's see if I have any upgrades available before we drop into a match so I, I can get some more things. Um, I didn't actually purchase. That's one of the things you have to be mindful of. Some of these, you can, uh, there'll be like the, your XP that you used to have to get different items, upgrades, and then you have to actually turn around and buy it for cash, so. Uh, sometimes I just completely uh, forget not to. Like these actually already get uh, advantage to use. So this is um, another HE choice. So if I click on my munitions here, I can see what it is. So right now I've got this one. 
The pin 630 millimeter and does 390 damage. So this is something I'm still kind of figuring out because it's like, I see those numbers. I'm like, wait, isn't that like the better option to go with? So that's why I have 12 of those mounted and you get a machine gun, which can be really fun to use. So we're just gonna drop into battle with this. Now I did probably the most noob thing after the training grounds video that I recorded. Uh, I divved up with my clan commander and uh, I sent him an invite, uh, figuring how that worked uh, on the friends list. And so I invited him, we got in a platoon together and then I clicked battle. And then as we dropped, we were in the tier one, like, uh, was it down here in it? The M, was it M50 tier one, but we were in uh, player versus player PVP mode. Uh, and we were facing nothing but like tier three tanks. So I did manage to kill one enemy tank, but it was a complete noob move. So it felt really bad for uh, probably costing our team the match just cause uh, that was a very noob thing I did. So I'm never living that one down now uh, from my clan commander. So. <laughs> so operation Anvil. A shipping port, we take control of the facility. Okay, I think I played this one before. I think so. So this battle time will be going down, but then once your other teammates like pop in, like the last one, then the timer will jump down to three seconds, just like that. So uh, I don't think you can just simply walk away. Just depends. So take control of the port, and we have to destroy some of Sam's. So uh, we need to be paying attention for that. I actually should have just gone up the road. Uh, there's some good opportunities to shoot enemy tanks. Uh, from the ridge here, so. Uh, if they come out, that will be... As soon as I, I move this way, then there'll be one visible. I think I can get over this. Yep, so we're gonna shoot him into the side. We have a decent reload time on this leopard. The shift key zoom in. Go, 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 go. Yeah. All right, so then we need to go to the SAM site up here, so I'm probably going to load some heat for that. Actually, I'm going to switch back because this tank's coming out. So we're firing behind these bushes, which uh, helps with our conceal. So you get the lower glaces. Great, got him. Uh, actually, machine gun it. And switch back to AP. So just switching to 1, 2, 3 key. Down here on the bottom. Slow down a little bit. And I think we're just going to ram this guy. Or we can just kill him instant. And it's... Oh, never mind. <laughs> It's like we can switch to a machine gun and probably polish him off. So all the Sams are down. So now we just gotta take control of the port. So we get moved up here more. We're just gonna go left here. So there'll be a lot of enemy tanks down and over this way. Oop, that's the other thing you have to be mindful of. If you try to control and move your mouse around, you can't actually turn your tank. Uh, so that's something I have to get used to, to not be constantly holding the control key if I'm checking out different things. Dead guy. Oh, he turned. Alright, we don't want to go any further than this. One thing, if you're not careful, you can easily overextend yourself. Thank you for totally blocking my view. Because uh, then the bots basically just focus on whoever's closest. So... Okay. <laughs> That's something you just also have to be mindful of. Stay nose into these guys. Oh, 
Gonna get some damage there. It's dead. Still one back here. He might get one shotted before I can kill him. There'll be some more spawning in the back there. So it's not really in the match. This is okay. Well, or I could just like ram into the building. That works too. Ah, stepped on the hill. That's one thing I'm still getting used to is like having to be really mindful of uh, how I'm positioning my tank. Because when I get ready, to, I do a lot of snapshots. Okay, we get him. I do a lot of snapshots. So if you do that, you need to be paying attention to like the ground, like where you are. Uh, otherwise, you'll just stop and then you stop on a ridge and then it takes you a couple, like in a second or two to get off and then we acquire the target. Um, sometimes it's a kill fee. So this is operations. This is the standard. There's also the hardcore uh, mode. It's more difficult. Uh, so that's actually uh, good. And so we played here. So these are some of the people that we played with. Damage dealt, enemy spotted, enemies destroyed. Uh, so we can get to see, I guess I would, I would call these, um, looks like achievements, no, no award. Um, the account, so this is XP we earned, the cash we earned, battle coins, which you can only use in the battle pass. And you think something you have to buy um, is the battle pass. Um, new achievement, Woodland Warrior 4. We'll check that out here in a moment. What's this? Teamwork. Medal awarded to each member of a team that completed a successful PV operation with no friendly losses. So that match could have gone for longer, um, but we killed all the enemy tanks. Uh, so then uh, we came to a close. Uh, so this time we did fourth uh, place. Uh, I played a match before this, testing the audio, and I uh, uh, increased my mic audio a little bit more. Uh, it was top of the team. But that is how things go. And then you get your details, so about your balance details, so you like your efficiency, uh, your minor bonuses, major bonuses, kind of showing you, and just like World of Warship shows you without premium versus with premium. Um, and then performance details, so we can learn more about how we did things here, which is nice. And then you can hear that a little music clip keeps playing the longer we're in this. Uh, received, play 30 battles or missions on Woodland Maps. Woodland Warrior, contract missions. PVE. Hmm. Now this is something I don't know a ton about, but it looks like it's just achievements. It's we're in the achievements tab. You can also go to your history and you can see um, games that you've played. So I can actually click on this leopard battle I had a little bit ago. Um, and I can see like how we did there, the details. But when I'm on here, you can also, there's a view we play. So I think any um, battle, uh, you can go, I can go back in history and watch. So I could go to this one and still get to view we play. Or I could go to the very first match that we had. <laughs> Those of you who play the game, damage dealt 28. I killed like this little like guy. Uh, yeah, so it was uh, a bloodbath. Um, wow, I think apparently our team did crap too. Wow, I still topped the team? Is that... No, 20, no, no, 28. No, there's no way. It must be like... Oh, that's so weird. So that has me up there. Oh, that's... No, that's weird. I don't know what happened there, but... Um, was this the actual first one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's not PvE. So, yeah, this battle was <laughs> rough. Apparently, they're all tier 1 tanks. I thought they were, like, uh, tier 3 and stuff. I don't know, but I didn't... I can tell you what, I did not know what I am do was doing. So, um, so it's cool. There's good stuff going on here. Uh, statistics, you can check your things out. You can check out your profile and just see. So, uh, looks like, yeah, 64 matches played, run rate of 93.8%. Uh, for PvE, definitely going to be a 0% on the player versus player. There's also Global Ops Ranked Battle. So I can choose the mode selection here. Hardcore, Special Operations, Hardcore, Player versus Player, Random Battle, Global Operation. But uh, as I figure out the game, 
I'm just gonna stick in PVE uh, for now. So um, I guess I'll probably do another video. I mean, I, I'm gonna do at least weekly videos. I played this enough that I, I enjoy it, and I do I do want at least would do one video a week uh, with Armored Warfare. But in terms of the game dying and all that, I don't know a whole bunch about that. That's something maybe I can do a video on. I can look into that and get myself caught up because um, there are just a lot of you commenting about the game in general and stuff and some of you uh, enjoying and liking it. So I don't know. I like it. It's definitely nice, particularly like where I aim my gun. It hits where I aim compared to World of Warships with the bugs right now with the salvos falling short and not going anywhere where you aimed. Like one salvo goes on target the other salvo goes way over here like that's dumb and crazy so so yeah i do recommend uh armored warfare um however i don't know how much i can say that because if this game is supposedly on its way out or dying uh, i'd hate to get you into the game and then you start playing and then uh what the heck just happened uh but this is a game i'm not spending any real life money on i'm just playing as is uh free to play because um, you can play this uh, free to play. So, if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you did not, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you subscribe, thanks so much. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.